Recently, I had the privilege of attending a profoundly insightful conference on the topic of dog aggression, featuring Dr. Chris Pockle, a board-certified veterinary behaviorist. Now, Dr. Pockle's insights shed light on a critical aspect of dog aggression, pain. Pain, as it turns out, is a remarkably common predictor of aggression in dogs, present in as many as half of aggression cases. Everyday activities like jumping on furniture, chasing frisbees, engaging in vigorous play, or navigating slippery surfaces can all contribute to the presence of pain to varying degrees. Any collar or harness has the potential to contribute to pain as well. This understanding has profound implications for how we address aggression in our canine companions and is why I often recommend a thorough vet visit to rule out pain prior to working with any aggression case. Unfortunately, diagnosing pain is not always straightforward. Pets have the remarkable ability to hide their discomfort, especially during a vet visit. Furthermore, certain types of pain, such as GI pain, can be particularly challenging to detect. Dr. Pockle himself has found that approximately 40% of his aggression cases have unmanaged gastrointestinal pain. There's also the concept of silent pain, which isn't acute, but rather insidious, gradually building over time, often rooted in the fascia and connective tissue. Having said this, I implore you not to overlook this crucial link between pain and dog aggression, particularly before embarking on expensive training endeavors. Your canine companion's well-being and behavior could hinge on addressing this often hidden issue. Now, if you're interested in learning more about the links between pain and aggression, please send me a message and I'll be here to help you. Thank you. Be well and wagtail.